university students. And President Obama made this boy his inner faith advisor. Sebu Patel needed Obama's advice. So that is how even the government, they considered it as an important exercise to bring youth together like that. Now, <clears throat> we, uh, we have started a new movement among school children, mostly school children, that is called One Billion Youth for Peace. Uh, because we have to catch them very young. Otherwise, once they are grown up, they are very strong, you know, religious, we can call them. They are very firmly rooted in their religion. So we, we are now going from schools to schools, making them peace engineers and peace ambassadors, teaching them about our religion, you know, this is one billion youth for peace. That is another local initiative. Our goal is to make one million youth ambassadors. Maybe we don't know when, but it is on the move. Because of the corona, it is stalled. It was stalled for some time, but we have uh, we are warmly welcomed in schools and colleges. Every school feels the importance of cultivating a culture of interreligious understanding and peace. Though that is a possibility of interfaith dialogue. Then we have, uh, see, what is the background in which we are thinking about? Maybe Buddhism was the first missionary religion in the world. King Ashoka converted so many countries into Buddhism. China, whole of China, Vietnam, Cambodia, Thailand, Japan, they all became Buddhist one fine morning because of one uh, religious missionary. Buddha, I mean Ashoka. All these nations became Buddhists. Then Christians said, oh, let us evangelize the whole world. Let us make all people Christians. And then Islam said, okay, let us fill the world with uh, Islam, Muslims. With missionary zeal, all these religions are moving. Actually, 400, 4 billion people out of 8 billion belong to three religions. Christianity, Islam and Hinduism. Hinduism was the most broad-minded religion. They accepted everybody. Pars Parsis, Persians, persecutors, you come here. You know, Muslims, you come here. Everybody, Christians, you come here. But now they are integrated. Now they feel they are nothing. They will be evangelized, they will be converted to Islam, Christianity, they are <clears throat> But they want to preserve at least the 80 million or people as Hindus. 